In my last video that I made about Asu, titled The Truth About Asu, I went over how Asu blew up in the streaming world, but also why he was seeing a decline in relevance during the beginning of 2024, and while all of the information in that video is true, I failed to mention a very important part of Asu's story between mid-2020 and early 2024, and in this video, I want to cover that part of his story, since when we take a deeper look into it, you would notice that it fills in the gaps on why many of Asu's viewers feel like he just is in the same Asu from back in 2019, but it would also give us a glimpse into the side of Asu that I'm sure many of you guys were unaware of. See, if you were a viewer of Asu, you would most definitely know that Asu was in a relationship with another streamer that is well known in the streaming world named 39 Daff. Daff was a streamer that had been blowing up coincidentally around the same time that Asu was blowing up, but the one thing they had in common was that their fan bases were extremely loyal to them. They had similar personalities, but of course gained popularity for different reasons. So when Daff would move into Asu's house and they would become frequent faces in each other's streams, this caused both of their fan bases to sort of merge together and whenever Asu wouldn't be streaming, they would go to Daff's stream and whenever Daff wasn't streaming, they would go over to Asu's stream. For sort of a combined community to a certain extent. On the surface level, the relationship seemed perfect not only because it was beneficial for their streaming careers, but also because if you were to ask anyone, it really did seem like they were meant for each other. But in reality, the truth about the relationship that they weren't showing to the public was far worse than what it had seemed like. And this takes us to October of 2023. During this month, TwitchCon was being hosted in Las Vegas. And not only that, OTV was hosting a nightclub party and since Daff was tapped in with OTV, both Daff and Asu would attend this party. But it was here where Daff and Asu's relationship would begin to crumble for the entire world to see. After returning from Las Vegas, Daff had a lot to say about what went down during that trip. And while most of the clips are deleted, luckily people over on Reddit were able to archive what was being said in those clips. Daff would speak out for the first time that the lifestyle that Asu indulges in is not a lifestyle that she could partake in, which often made her feel left out whenever they would go out, and since they would all go out in a large group, she would make it as clear as possible that Asu likes to do drugs and drink alcohol while partying, and that she does not enjoy doing such things. But in certain cases, she felt obligated to participate in it since she didn't want to feel left out, which unfortunately caused her to get an alcohol-induced panic attack on a certain occasion. And not only that, during this period where she tried to include herself in the lifestyle that Asu was living, Asu didn't help her at all and was not willing to change his lifestyle to better their relationship. Only Kaide and an individual named Alvin were there for her during this period. Daff spoke many times about how she doesn't do drugs, but it seemed like almost everyone she knew did it. Yeah, I realized that there were people in my life that really liked doing that shit, and I... This leaves a bad taste in my mouth, you know? I don't really want to deal with any of that. I don't like it. And I don't like being near people that do that. And due to that, the lifestyle differences caused major problems in her private life. And since, as I stated earlier, whenever Asu was absent and Daff was live streaming, whenever Asu's viewers would come over to ask her about Asu's whereabouts, it was becoming common for her to give a passive aggressive response during this period of time. Keep in mind, all of this was going down within days of them coming back from TwitchCon. And on October 30th, Daff would officially announce that she and Asu broke up. And in typical Asu fashion, just like throughout all of this drama, he would keep on staying silent, except for when he would leave a like on the breakup tweet. But on Daff's end, it was very clear that after this breakup, she was holding in certain details about what really went down during their breakup. And on a stream during the same day that the breakup post came out, throughout that entire stream, Daff was getting up and leaving with no explanation whatsoever. And towards the end of that stream, she would end up crying and ending the stream. Chest hurts.
just gonna end stream, okay? I need to pause my game or something. See you guys next time. Moments later, they would both unfollow each other on Twitter, which was to be expected, but in Daph's offline chat, she would go on a rant about certain things she did not want to speak about before. She would talk about the harassment from Asu's fan base and how Asu was allegedly refusing to give back her stuff that was still in his house. Keep in mind, Asu never spoke out about the breakup or for that matter anything that went down in his private life. But one of the things Daph really wanted was the piano gift that Asu bought for her that she used often and clearly valued a lot. And from this point forward, it became a reoccurring thing for Daph to go silent. Then go to her offline chat to speak badly about Asu. She would take it further and would state that her relationship with Asu was toxic and almost felt like she got cheated on during the end of their relationship. But not only that, she would state that they were broken up before TwitchCon and that during that event, she would trauma bond with an individual in the community named Spooky. This would be so funny if someone broke up with me five months into a relationship because they said I don't have enough money while I was on strike. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know what's so even sad. funnier is the only way oh, for someone to show affection is to buy you random things that you don't even really care about and they're never emotionally there for you. <laughs> and not too long after the breakup with Asu, she would quickly get into a relationship with Spooky. Many of Asu's fans that were invested into what was going on during this breakup believed that she got into a relationship with Spooky to get back at Asu and how he made her feel during the end of their relationship. But while Daph and Spooky had lots of drama on their end, Asu throughout this entire drama stayed absolutely silent and would actually move on as well without sharing his perspective. Spooky would eventually retrieve Daph's stuff from Asu's house, so that part was settled. And in the end, while there was drama from Daph coming out and speaking about what went down, as time went on, this incident faded away and both Asu and Daph are still doing really well for themselves today.